ladies and gentlemen, slugs and leeches. Hey, this past weekend, I just finished my pop-up book of Woodsong. In the front cover, I just wrote the title and put some key words that came to mind when I thought of the book. You might want to do something similar with a word cloud or put some type of images that represent the book. Also on the back, I left it blank because that is where I'm going to be putting my works cited page. Let's take a look at the first room. Wow. Okay, in this first room, what I did, at the very bottom, I decided, maybe let's try to, what can I do to make it look like snow? Because the book deals with a lot of snow in the state of Alaska. So what I did is I used uh, some cotton balls and pulled them apart and laid it down on the ground and had a snow effect look. Then I took some pieces of cardstock and folded them different ways. And these are going to be like flip flip uh, covers for information. So I'm going to put a picture on those. Or you could draw one or put a picture. As you flip it up, inside there will be your text. And here's some pictures, that uh, some of the steps as I was putting that together. Ooh. What? In my second room, I was going to uh, cover the Iditarod. So what I did, I made a snow floor, and then I made this, uh, I, I drew a map with the trail of the Iditarod, and I even did my little accordion fold, and then I glued it um, onto the wall to where it's, it's kind of standing up a little bit, and I'll put my report about the Iditarod on the other side. In my third room, I was going to cover one of the animals discussed in the book. So in here, I thought I would cover the timber wolves, and I created a, a moon with the cardstock with a little bit of a um, an accordion in behind behind it, in which you fold the cardstock and then glue it onto your image and onto the wall to where it'll stand out. And I uh, created uh, a fire. Uh, some trees, yes, those are trees, um, and uh, I drew a wolf from that scene where the wolves were on one side of the fire and Gary and the doe were on the other. Um, just took some, uh, bent the cardstock and glued one side of it to the image and then onto the wall. You know, here was my fire and my trees that look like they came from a Dr. Seuss novel, and it just describes, uh, like I said, one of the animals from the novel. One thing to remember when you're drawing an image, make sure you have a fold at the bottom so that you can glue it onto the base um, of your book so it will have a standing effect. In my last room, I am going to uh, do a short report on the author Gary Paulson. And I put a grizzly bear on here to represent one of the s scenes from the story uh, that he talked about. I also did something a little different. I took some twigs and put glue on there and even took some dirt and put it on the ground to make it have a rugged look. And then I put a banner to where I just took some cardstock and went from end to end and uh, placed it on there. So you can also put banners that have a nice effect in your book. Well, these are just a few ideas. You can create your own, uh, try something new, feel free to borrow anything of mine and try to adapt it or change it. And your teachers will be talking with you later about 
the uh, the content that will be going in the rooms, but these are just some of the ideas to decorate your book a little bit more. Hey, have a great day, and if you have any questions, you can uh, drop me a line here through YouTube or even email me through my school email at jennis at baschools.org. Have a great day. Goodbye.